Hello people and welcome to another video. You would have seen me use Atom Text Editor in almost all my videos, whether it be web development or Python programming or Python projects. So in this video, we'll see some of the packages that come in handy while you're coding or programming on Atom. And here are my top five picks for some of the best and most useful Atom packages or plugins that I use when I uh, code or develop my websites. So note that these are related to full stack web development as well as Python. So keeping that in mind, we'll get started. I'll uh, show you the installation as well as the step-by-step -step guide on how to actually use it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step would be to finding out where uh, you can actually download or install these packages. So as soon as you switch on your Atom or uh, open your Atom, you, you would be welcomed with this particular screen. So close out that and close out telemetry consent as well. And inside welcome guide, you would, if you scroll down, you would find uh, install the package over here. So you can click on that. Otherwise, if you have accidentally closed everything, no need to worry, you can always go inside file. And down here uh, inside settings, you would find install over here. Uh, let me zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in. So I, I just hope you can see you have a install a button over here. So you can click on that. I'll bring you back to these pages from where you can search your packages. So the first package would be ask stack. Right. So note that um, most of the packages that we'll install in this video, uh, I have already installed it. So it won't show me the install button. It'll rather show me the settings as well as enable disable button. So don't get confused. Um, as soon as you search it uh, and find the package, you can, you can click on install and it will enable automatically. So you don't need to do anything manually. Right, so the first one was ask stack. So I, I'll search it. Um, there are so many, but I uh, ask you to choose this one that is by Chris911. And as as the name suggests, it allows you to you know access stack overflow directly without using your browser. Um, you know, we developers and programmers, we usually run into some alien errors that we don't know what to do. So usually what we do is we copy the error as well as then we go to our web browser and paste it over there and search on Stack Overflow. I mean, there is a way to do it without going to a browser that is by using this package that is called as Ask Stack. It is currently in the version 2.2.0, as you can see there. And make sure whenever you install the package, read the documentation and the features. Uh, this in the first part, it says the key bindings that is your keystroke that is control plus R plus A to, you know, activate ask stack and where, uh, where you can ask your questions. Um, and then down you have a video tutorial on how to work with ask stack. I mean, we don't need to go through that. I'll show you how to do it. It also has the features usage as well as um, local installation, which uh, I, I wouldn't suggest you to do. So uh, let's get started and see how to actually work with Ask Stack. So in order to demonstrate how to use Ask Stack, I have already opened a Py project that is my Python project folder. And inside this, I have a program for um, that I made for English dictionary. So if I mean, if you want to do it, the link will be in the description. Go watch that video and learn how to make a simple English dictionary using Python. So, I mean, this program works properly, but um, let me deliberately make a mistake and I, I won't import the JSON module. And I'll save that and let me run it now. I'll run it and it says name error JSON is not defined. So, I mean, I know that the error is over here that I haven't, I haven't imported JSON, but let's just imagine that, um, you know, there is an error that you don't know what to do about it. So what you're going to do, you'll copy this and go to your browser, then search on uh, Stack Overflow. But instead, what you can do is you will copy your error and you know, run your uh, module that you have just installed. And Another error that I found while using Stack Overflow or Ask Stack was when you press Control Alt and A, this per this particular character comes up. So in order to resolve that, just keep uh, a long press of A. That is Control Alt and long press A, and this particular thing will open up over here. So I'll delete my previous query. I'll paste the new one that I just found, and the language is Python. And you can click on Ask. 
and over here on the right hand side it will show you all the solutions that it got from stack overflow um, you can click on them so i got the same error that is name error json is not defined and over here this guy even has the same error so i'm going to click on show more and then i'm going to click on answers and down here it says uh, pip install simple json that uh, use this command to actually install the json file uh, this error is uh, I mean, this solution is for the people who haven't installed JSON. I mean, we I have installed JSON and but I have not imported it. So there are some places where you'll also get you know you need to actually import JSON. So that's it. You can just copy and paste it from uh, here instead of going to your browser and doing it. And yeah, that's how you use Ask Stack. And this is why uh, I use Ask Stack because I run into some alien errors and that just messes my mind up. So the next one would be uh, Atom Beautify. Next one is Atom Beautify. Uh, I mean, I've already searched it. So if you go search it Atom Beautify over here, you will get a package by Galvin001. Uh, that's what I use because it supports almost every language that is available on Atom. So, I mean, there are so many other beautifiers out there, but I like to use this one because uh, it helps with HTML and CSS both. Most of it only you works with either one of them or you know you'll get so many errors but this is the one which I found was error friendly and it has a really big documentation so make sure you read it because uh, you know when I started reading or when I started working with this I had too many errors while working with Python that was because I uh, you know I didn't install few of the packages. I'll tell you which package to install in order to work with Python in a while, but the keystroke is control alt B and uh, it also shows you the demonstration and other uh, important stuffs in the documentation. So make sure you read it. It is really important. So basically what you do is you select a particular uh, lines which you want to beautify and just click on control alt and B and it will automatically beautify because of the new version. And and also when you have errors such as this guy deliberately made an error over here that was not to give a curly bracket over there and he did, he also didn't give an indentation over there. So as soon as you hit on beautify javascript, that was his javascript program, uh, you know, it will resolve the error and they, uh, I mean, you can actually work it like that. So for the people who are not able to do it in Python, there is a package that you need to install that was... Um, auto pip 8 so you can in order to install it just uh, hit pip install auto pip a auto pep 8 and it will install your package let me quickly show you um, this is a big program and uh, you know while writing these big programs you need to really have a good orientation and i you know while i write my program i don't really care about orientation because after that i can directly just go to beautify and uh, resolve all my errors as well as my orientation before i start uh, running the program so i mean if it is a small program and you know there is some error that you can always just select that part and click on uh, Control alt b but i'm not going to do that because this is a big program and i don't know where the errors are so i mean you won't see how it actually works so le let's just see that this comment line that is saying function to swap bars will be animated it is currently on line 4 and if i hit Control alt b over here the beautification will be in progress and now you have spaces over here which makes the readability of the program easier for uh, you know for uh, the people who don't know how to work with it as well as if there were any errors here uh, in dot py file it would have resolved that as well so that's how you use uh, how you use atom beautifier or atom beautify and it is a really good one because when you're making big programs and you don't know where the errors are, you can just click on Control Alt B and it will uh, rectify your errors then and there. Now the third one is called as Teletype. Uh, Teletype is basically a really strong and powerful package that is provided by Atom itself. This is basically to share your codes and workspace with others and collaborate, uh, you know, with your uh, with your group members in on github basically so as soon as you uh, install teletype you would see uh, you know i don't know what this is called but uh, you know a network tower kind of thing over here so if you after installing you will get this icon over here and if you click on it and it won't show you this particular thing but it will show you to um, authorize your 
ID or authorize your text editor. And as soon as you click on authorize your text editor, you will be taken to this page. So from where you can, uh, you know, log in with your GitHub account and authorize your Atom. And after that, it will take you to uh, this page from where you can, it will show you to, uh, it will give you a token from where you can just copy and paste your token over here and start working. And there are two main things over here. That is one is sharing and one is joining. So if you want to share your work, you can click on share over here and it'll, sorry for that, it will give you a, code which you can uh, give it to your partners and start working on it and if you want to join their workspace they uh, even they'll get similar code like this from where you can paste it over here and start working together on atom um, i'm not going to show you how to do it because it contains some sensitive data uh, i mean it's quite easy just read the documentation so you will get to know on how to use it it also says uh, it, I guess, yeah, over here it says a command line that you can, you know, start working locally on your system. And it also gives you a video guide over here. You can always check the documentation, but um, I'm not going to show you that for now. Right, so the last two are called as pigments as well as color picker. I'm not going to show you what the color picker is because you already know uh, color picker. You can always use Google, but I like to use color picker, which is directly installed on Atom so I can work it, you know, offline anywhere. So the first one is pigments. And note that both these are for, you know, both, both of them are for web development, uh, basically working with CSS. What pigment? Uh, does is uh, I'll let me quickly just open a project folder which has my web development files and if I open a CSS file right now as you can see these things just changed uh, colors or basically the background color so basically what pigments does is it checks for the hex code and gives uh, the background of that code and uh, in if you want to see the real time working, let me just quickly do color over here and let me give red. If I save it and wait for a while, as you can see, the background color just changed to red. Not just red, there are so many things with, uh, you can work with. I'll give orange, if I can spell that right. And if I save it, wait for a while, there you go, you got the background color of orange. That's how you use pigments and I mean, there is nothing really using it and just checking if you're, uh, you know, if you haven't made any mistakes uh, copying your hex codes. And the next one would be, uh, it's a pretty simple one. We all know what color picker is, but uh, Python has its own, sorry, Atom has its own inbuilt color picker, which you can download. If I search for packages, um, I have forgot if I have actually downloaded it or not. So I have to see. There you go. It's Chrome color picker. Um, sorry, that was my mistake. I forgot the Chrome part. And uh, make sure it's um, by a proper, you know, this is the proper author that you're going to. And down, if you go down there, it shows you the keystrokes. I mean, I'm not going to show you how these keystrokes actually work or how to actually choose the color. You can always, uh, you know, watch the documentation preview over here and you can directly use it offline instead of going to Google and uh, using its color picker when you're not uh, you know, actually connected to internet. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. Uh, guys, hope you liked and enjoyed it and hope you guys will, you know, install these awesome packages. I would recommend you to install Ask Stack and Teletype and Pigments. These three are, um, you know, it, these three were really important for me when I uh, started because, and also Atom Beautify because when you run into errors, uh, as soon as you click just Control Alt B, it will rectify your errors, and there is you know, you'll you'll be good to go. So hope you guys try and install everything. Let me know uh, if you run into any errors down in the comment section below. So yeah, thanks for watching, stay in, stay safe and happy quarantine.